it's a chance to get away to somewhere we haven't been before, which uh, our winters are usually spent down in Arizona, and uh, another part of the year we'll go someplace quite different. And, uh, we've talked about coming up here for several years, done nothing about it, and this happens to be the year. It's a complete change of pace for us. It's relaxing, the scenery is beautiful, the exposure to the Haida culture is something that interests us. Uh, We've never been with the Haidas before. We've been with the Navajos down in Arizona on a couple of occasions. But uh, and the way of life up here is really quite different from the way of life down there, obviously. So it, it's uh, and a chance to meet some new people, new friends, enjoy life, really. The experience of a cruise ship and this is certainly different, you know. What do you like about this kind of a journey then? What's, what resonates with you? Well, I think, I think uh, small is better in, in something like this. You know, you get on a 1,500, 2,000 passenger ship and you really sometimes don't see anybody or you see some people very, very rarely. Here you get to see everybody every day and you get a chance to interface with people a lot more often. It, it, this, is, this is a lot more casual. I know we have dinner and we have breakfast and that kind of thing, but it seems to be, you know, come in, it's a buffet, pick up your plate, go here, go there. You don't sit at the table with six or eight people that you're sitting with night after night. And the, you know, the chances to get off and wander around and do things. Use kayaks, for instance. Now, you don't get to do that on a, on a cruise ship. Those are all things that are very nice about this.